Hey, what's up? You're watching the sit down. I'm DJ Sixsmith. Karen Morris here with us. The Oval Season 2 coming back on BET. What's up, Karen? How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing really well. So very excited for this one. Let's be honest. Season 1 was a smash. It became the number one scripted show on TV. I mean, what was the craziest part of just the whole experience for you when you peel back the layers here? I just I think the response that we got, the positive response we got from the fans and the, <laughs> the fact that, you know, we look up one day and we are the number one new scripted show on cable. Like, that's just mind blowing to me um, because I didn't know how people were going to accept the idea of the show. Um, but people were really, really receptive. They love Victoria. So it's been an amazing ride so far. What do you think is most fascinating about Victoria? Because I feel like we can go in a number of different directions to hear, but really what stands out to you the most about her? Uh, I think that she is, she's dynamic. And I don't think you've seen a lot of that just yet. So, you know, she, she is completely, um, she is an onion. Like, you know, you, you've got to peel back the layers. She's not one dimensional. And um, I think the audience will see more of that this season. So, you know, we'll, we'll experience more of Victoria's behavior, um, not behavior, but personality, but, and some of her behavior. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it seems like the actors I talk to really love these roles that stretch them and challenge them in different ways. When you think about this role, what has been the biggest challenge in playing Victoria? The biggest challenge I think for me has been uh, having to deal with my own stuff. So there, there, there were times where I'd be in a scene and I'd act it out and I would have like a pit in my stomach coming out of the scene and realize that there were parts of me that I could identify too closely with. Hmm. And so I had to unpack a lot of my own personal stuff. So playing Victoria has been a lot of fun, but it's also been very therapeutic for me. Had you done that with a role previously or was this the biggest one where you really looked at your own life and your own situation? I haven't done that with a television role hmm. yet. Um, I've done it in theater. And so that's, that's a very familiar thing for me in the theater world, but coming into television and film, I never thought that I would have that experience. But when I, when I did have it, it, I, it, it knocked me back like, whoa, okay, you got some work to do, girl. <laughs> Well, that leads me to ask the question, how did that help you grow as a person? Because I think we're all just trying to figure our own stuff out. We're all just trying to get better. So how did this role help you take the next step in your evolution? Well, um, it has certainly pushed me uh, even further toward talk therapy <laughs> to deal with my stuff. And um, it's also helped me with authenticity um, because I know oftentimes we, we mask a lot of what we don't want the world to see, but you know, that's who we are, you know, and I think Victoria doesn't ask much of anything. Uh, so I, I, I pulled pieces from her with regards to that, like, you know, you've got to be authentic or I, I, I need to be able to look myself in the mirror at night. And um, part of that is just being true to myself. We're all going through stuff. It, it's totally okay. Just let it out and okay to let your hair down in a sense, right? Like we're all right. just trying to figure it out at the end of the day. So it's awesome that you had that experience. And it's awesome that this show has really resonated with people. So when you think about season two, I mean, season one was a banger. How do we take the next step here and really go in full throttle with this thing? <laughs> well, season two picks up right where season one leaves off. And I tell people, I make this joke, you know, if you thought season one was fire, season two is going to take you to the king. Like it's just <laughs> out of control, all kinds of craziness, all kinds of madness, skeletons coming out of the closet and, you know, people having to, to deal with the, the junk that they put out, you know, Hunter and the first family, everyone included. So uh, we have a lot of reckoning to do in season, in season two. I know that Tyler Perry gets a lot of talk about what he's done in the industry and just his hands-on approach. What are some other things we don't talk enough about with him because he's just been so transcendent and so impactful, but what are other little things that maybe we don't see on the outside that you've been exposed to on the inside? Um, he's a lot of fun. Like every now and then, Medea will show up to set. <laughs> like, you know, just out of nowhere, you'll just hear this voice like, what in the way? And he's so, he's so much fun. And if you find something funny, like there was a time in season one where uh, 
<laughs> he yelled cut and he came and grabbed me by my wrist and dragged me into a room and he fell out on the floor. He was laughing so hard because there was a, a thing with uh, Victoria's mother, I think, and he just found it hilarious. And so <laughs> he has a really great sense of humor. Um, I don't know that people get that outside of him being Medea, you know, but he, he's a lot of fun. You mentioned before you weren't really sure how people would receive this just because of how crazy it was. Take me back to the audition process. When, when you get this part for, for Victoria and you realize like, oh man, this show is just going to go for it. I mean, what did you think this initially would look like before it came out and became a huge thing? Gosh, um, whew. I would like to say I thought it was going to be a smash, but I wasn't so sure because Victoria is, so, the, the whole first family is so volatile. I'm like, okay, this can go one of two ways. So um, I, I just had to immerse myself in the character and, and do whatever I could to breathe, breathe life into her and just pray for the best, you know? <laughs> I hear you on that one. You're kind of in the throes of this whole deal where it's like you are now being identified as this very recognizable character. And we're obviously in the middle of a pandemic. So walking around, is, it's not the same sort of response, but what is it like when you're first starting to be recognized as like, oh, Karen is Victoria. Like, how, how do you deal with this now on a daily basis? My life literally changed overnight. Like, I expected to have, you know, some, some recognition, like, in Atlanta, because, you know, Tyler Perry is based here, and, uh, like, in the, in the Atlanta airport, because, you know, so many people come through there. But it was really interesting um, just going to different states and different cities and being recognized just randomly. It, it was a big adjustment for me, but people have been so lovely. I mean, people have really, really received Victoria very well. And so I'm always approached uh, with open arms from people. So it's been an adjustment, but not like in a bad way. Do you have a state where you're like, I can't believe I'm being recognized here? Or just like a random moment where like your mind was totally blown. Do you have an example of that? Florida. Florida. I was in Jacksonville, Florida, and I was at a, <laughs> at a Mexican restaurant eating chips, and this lady's just like, oh my gosh. I'm like, what? <laughs> okay. I mean, yeah. that shows the reach of a show like this, right? And I'm sure you're getting people of all ages, men and women, young and old. Like, it really shows that this is a show that has hit everybody, which I, I think is a testament to just how great it is, right? Thank you. Yeah, it's it's been amazing. I, I remember I was in the airport. I want to say it was in Atlanta. And a police officer was running after me. Nobody ever wants a police officer no, running after them not. for any reason ever. And so he's running towards me and I'm just like, whoa. He's just like, no, 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 no. He's like, I'm such a big fan. Can I get a picture? I'm like, okay. <laughs> that was a really awkward moment. But yeah, I mean, that that's that's been my life pretty much since we started. That's really crazy. What's it been like for friends and family to see you in this role? Because they've obviously been on the journey with you. Being an actor is a very challenging industry. So what's been the coolest part about sharing it with your friends and family? They're all so excited. Well, my friends, my friends are a little bit different than my family. My, my friends are like super cool. They're just like, yeah, yeah, we're so happy for you. Are you coming to dinner or not? You know, so it's not, they're not impressed by the whole thing, but they are happy for me. My family is super, super supportive. Um, the most surprising thing, I don't know. I went home for... Christmas in nine in 2019 mm -hmm. and I stayed at my my aunt's house and as soon as I got there they turned on the oval and did a complete and total marathon <laughs> it was, I'm like we're doing this like I have to watch myself all week thank you wonderful okay so it's it's been amazing my my family and friends have been immensely supportive so it's been a ride for them too Good deal. Well, Karen, it's really great to talk to you. Looking forward to season two and really congratulations on all the success. It's awesome to see you have it. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to see you again. All right.